This is my analogy for trading firms in big cities like London. They're fundamental trading, so they hold a supposition. And this is my analogy to the board game Battleship, where we have 10 by 10, we have a, a grid. The firm would make a supposition. It's windy today, so let's look for our battleships in the south uh, east corner. Or there's big waves today. Let's look in the northwest corner, which is really, it's a real naive way to look at markets. Technically speaking, I see the markets differently. So uh, my position on price behavior is given waves of X, the wind of Y, and the temperature of variable Z, we do this. And we look for our battleships with a system that that we narrow down where we're putting our torpedoes, our shells, based on not just both variables, but each variable has a range of options it can it can have based on what the variables are at the time. And not only is it in one dimension, there's two more dimensions behind this that have the same logic. So when you look at two dimensions and you have eight points then you have a cube so we look at the market more in a, in a higher dimension than just guesswork and when we have these non-random events we can back test that and and then it becomes beautiful for example at 11 o'clock GMT I created an indicator called trend score and it was saying that pound CAD was the best market and at at 11, you know, price is up, it makes a pullback, and the algorithm had a buy right in here. You can see it on the back tester. So I'll show you the back tester right here in a second. We'll just minimize this screen. And here is uh, 7 New York time, 11 GMT. And at that time of 42 markets, pound CAD was the best. And there's two buy events. Of course, there was. Uh, news here which is that big spike but the risk there to be proven wrong was very little it went off side 7 ticks on side 127 so that's an example of 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 having a model that when a market is the most trending when you pick bottoms in a bullish market your odds on winning are very good you don't need to look at news and say oh I'm a buyer today when price, the history of price, already already tells you that. For example, here is pound CAD in the hourly profile. You can see that here's a classic. See, past resistance is crossed, then it becomes support. You can guess and put a buy on right in there. But let's go to the five minute chart and see what happened right there. So here's the back tester. And we scroll, here is that, that classic there. You can see price just touches it. And there's one, two, three, four buys that are all wins. And that's just an example of proper technical trading. You're trading with the trend. You're picking bottoms in a bullish market, for example. And then the fundamental news, you pay attention to it. But there's more important things than just guessing a direction and a trading level based on a supposition. You can't backtest supposition, but what you can do is convince punters that your nonsense is worth money and charge them for it. So it's just two really different ways to view the market.